Welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at area approximation and particularly we are going to learn how to use mid ordinate rule to estimate area and I curve. So the question reads, use the mid ordinate rule with six trips to find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x squared plus 1, the lines x is equal to negative 4, and x is equal to 8, and also the x-axis. So, in order to go about this question, first thing we can do a rough sketch that helps us. So, in order to do a rough sketch, first thing is to get the width of the strips, and you obtain the width by taking the extreme values. So remember here we have the first value of x is negative 4 and the last one is 8. So these are lines, we'll see them as we sketch. So we take 8 minus negative 4 and that is plus 4. And then you divide by the number of strips. So for middle in a rule, the number of strips we're given is 6 strips. So we divide by 6. And that simply gives us 2. Suppose you are told that you use mid ordinate rule with six ordinates, then the number of ordinates will just be the same as the number of strips for this case. So from here we can therefore come and do a rough sketch. And in the sketch here we are going to begin from negative four but let the curve look like that. So we have curve y is equal to x squared plus 1. So one thing which may be uh, by the way, but it's still important. If you have a quadratic function in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is positive. So if A is positive, then the nature of the curve will be that. But if you have A, which is the coefficient of x squared being negative, that is less than zero, then we need to have the nature of the curve looking like that, forming an N in the word negative. Okay, so that is how I decided to have the curve in this nature. So the first value of x is negative 4. So we have negative 4 representing this line. Line x is negative 4. So at that particular point. And we are going to partition the area under the curve using the height that, or rather the width that we've already worked out. So from negative 4, a difference of 2 leads us to negative 2, and then from negative 2 we have 0, from 0 we have 2, then 4, then 6, and finally we are at 8. That is the last one. But for this case we are to use mid ordinate rule, so we are going to work out the mid ordinates. So the mid ordinates are the ordinates right in the middle. So between negative 4 and negative 2, we have negative 3, and here we have negative 1. Here is 1, 3, 5, and finally 7. So what we'll be interested in will be the values of y at this point when x is negative 3, here the value of y when x is negative 1, here y, 1, y, 2, y, 5, and finally the value of y when x is 7. So with that, it will mean that we'll be required to form a table. So in this table, if we have the values of x, then we get the values of y. So x when uh, or rather the value of y when x is negative 3, so x negative 3, then x is negative 1, the next value of x is 1, then we have 3, then 5, uh, 
one sorry sorry yes this is three sorry so we have three then five then seven so we are going to do our substitutions and in the substitutions we will have to use this we have the function y is equal to x squared plus one so if x is negative three what will y become so for this first case we have nine plus one and that is ten then we have one plus one that is two here also two here we have ten when you do a substitution here we will have that is 25 plus 1 that is 26 and finally 7 squared 49 plus 1 we have 50 and with that we can therefore move to the mid ordinate rule and the rule states that area is given by height times the sum of the mid ordinates and We'll have y when x is negative 3 plus y when x is negative 1 plus y when x is 1 plus y 3 plus y 5 plus y 7. So this is h we'd already worked out earlier, worked out earlier on is 2. And then the sum of the mid ordinates. So we add all this. So we have 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 10 plus 26 plus 50 so the sum of what we have in the brackets will be this is 14 plus 10 24 50 plus 50 100 so we multiply by 100 and that gives us 200 square units and thus we have estimated the area under the curve as bounded by the line x is negative 4 so this is the line x is negative 4 and this is here is the line x is 8 and it was also bounded by the x axis together with the line so we were finding the area I'm shading here so finally we have it as 200 square units Thank you for staying with me up to this moment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.